Hello and welcome to the Fastlane car. Today I've got two of the hottest cars of 2020, the Ford Mustang Mach-E and the Tesla Model Y. And today we're gonna find out which one has a better all-wheel drive system. I'm going to put both of these vehicles through the TFL slip test. Basically what we're gonna do, get various wheels stuck on purpose in these rollers and then see how the all-wheel drive and traction control systems work to get us unstuck. This first test is the front wheel slip test. Both front wheels stuck in the rollers. The rear wheels are gonna to have to engage to get us unstuck. Both of these cars are all-wheel drive and they are both fully electric. So it's gonna be pretty cool to see which one does better on this all-wheel drive torture test. So first up is the Tesla and the front wheel slip test. What I do is I back onto the rollers. <laughs> a little bit more gently than that, Micah. <laughs> there we go. And then I put the vehicle in a neutral and kind of let it settle down in the rollers before going into drive and gently accelerating. And now for something completely different. Did you know that two out of three guys experience some sort of male pattern baldness by the time they are 35? Keeps off the only generic FDA approved hair loss treatments out there and you've probably never seen it at this price. Isn't that right, buddy? You used to have to go visit a doctor for a prescription Oh, look at that. But now, thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and get a prescription sent right to your home. And you've probably never seen it at this price. Go to keeps.com slash TFL to receive 50% off your first order or click on the link in the description below. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash TFL. All right, now back to the video. All right, I'm accelerating in three, two, one. Onto the throttle. Well, no slippage whatsoever. So, rear motor engaged. Hold us right down. Ford Mustang Mach-E, a very important car for Ford. I believe the first ever four-door Mustang. I believe the first ever all-wheel drive Mustang as well. So that's pretty exciting stuff. Backing out of the rollers, the front wheel slip test just like the Tesla. I'm in the engage mode, which is kind of just the standard driving around everyday mode. Not turning traction control off, nothing like that. So, in a neutral, letting the vehicle settle, and now into drive. In three, two, one, gently accelerating. Okay, so we got a little bit more slippage in the front end than we did on the Tesla, but let's see what happens when the uh, rears get stuck. Both the Tesla and the Ford have dual motors. And what that means is there's an electric motor in the front that powers the front wheels and an electric motor in the rear that powers the rear wheels. So what's gonna happen if we get the rear wheel stuck? Let's find out. Tesla does not release horsepower and torque numbers on their models. So I'm not sure what the output is on the front and the rear motor on this Model Y. But in previous slip tests, we learned that typically when the rear wheels are stuck, the front wheels have a little bit harder time getting us unstuck. So let's see what happens today. Both rear wheels are locked in the rollers, front wheels on the ground. I'm nice and settled, accelerating in three, two, one, gently onto the throttle. All right. So you can see it took a little bit more work than in the first test, but we still made it off with no problem. Rear wheel slip test, I am settled in the Mustang, rear wheel stuck in the rollers, gently under the throttle in three, two, one. It's slipping, come on. Okay, so that took a little bit more throttle um, than I was expecting, but we were able to pull ourselves off very easily, extremely easily. Next test, let's do it. Next up, diagonal slip test. So the left front wheel totally stuck, the right rear wheel totally stuck. The other two ends of the car are gonna to have to engage to get us unstuck. Very common in the snow, ice, slush, sand, even the mud. Let's see what happens. Both of these cars are considered crossover SUVs, which I think is funny because they both have the ground clearance of like 
a wiener dog. <laughs> but anyways, let's see what happens in the diagonal test. First in the Tesla, in the neutral, let the vehicle settle. And now what I'm gonna do is go into drive and I'm not gonna touch any of the drive modes on any of these tests in both cars. So just standard drive modes like you would drive the cars every day. All right, here we go. Foot off the brake on the throttle in three, two, one. Gently on the throttle. Okay, so you could see the car kind of think a little bit. What happens is the tires spin, the brakes clamp down on the spinning tires, which forces torque to the wheels with traction, and then we're able to uh, glide down. But uh, a little bit of spinning in the Tesla. This is the Mach-E standard range all-wheel drive. It's rated at 266 horsepower, 428 pound-feet of torque. In a neutral for the diagonal slip test, vehicle is settled into drive and on the throttle in three, two, one. Come on, figure it out. I am heavy in the throttle now. What's going on here? All right, whoo. Well, I would say that was not quite as good as the uh, Model Y. It took a little bit longer to respond there, but let's see what happens when we go into the three-wheel slip test. Now we're getting into some seriously challenging stuff, the three-wheeled slip test. In this first test, both left wheels totally stuck, right front wheel totally stuck, only the right rear has traction. Let's see what happens. The first of the three-wheeled slip test, only the right rear is down on the ground with traction, all other three stuck. If you're wondering why I put my seatbelt on, it's because of why sometimes the cars beep at me, so can't have that on camera. So. Backing onto the rollers. Now, in case you're wondering, this Model Y is rolling on aftermarket 19 inch wheels and it's rolling on all weather tires. The Ford is also rolling on 19 inch wheels, but those are all season tires. So, in a drive, normal mode, we're settled gently onto the throttle. Tesla's really trying to figure it out. It's having a hard time today, come on. Oh, we're sliding a little bit. Okay, so we may have slid off the rollers there. That took a lot of throttle, giving this another whirl. Ho, ho, ho. In a neutral, vehicle settled, in a drive. A little bit more throttle this time. Stop shifting on me, car. I know you're trying to cheat, don't cheat. There it goes. All right, cool, so not a lot of time before uh, it figured out where to send power and we rolled off. But that three-wheel test is a challenge. Three-wheeled slip test in the Mustang Mach-E. Now, let's talk about uh, the price really quick. This Mach-E comes in at $50,000. Plus, if you qualify, you can get up to a $7,500 tax credit. That Model Y comes in at $63,000 and the tax credit has run out on Tesla. And that's because that one is the Performance Edition Model Y. It competes with the Mustang Mach-E GT, which isn't available yet. So in a perfect world, we'd have long-range Mach-E versus long-range Model Y, but unfortunately Ford didn't provide us with that vehicle. We couldn't get the uh, other version of the Model Y, so this is what we're ended up with. But hey, we do what we can. All right, three-wheeled slip test, rear wheels on the ground. Okay, we're settled gently under the throttle. Something's spinning up, that's for sure. Something's squeaking, that's for sure. Come on, figure it out. I did roll, I did oil the rollers, but what a noise, sorry. That took a lot of work, but we made it off. All right, last test to try.
Tesla has done every test I've put it through so far, but the last one, hardest one yet. Both right wheels totally stuck, left rear totally stuck, only the left front, which I think we've proved is the non-dominant motor, that one is the only one with traction. Let's see what happens. Come on, left front wheel. Show me what you got in the drive. Foot off the brake, onto the throttle. Oh, it's rocking it, it's rocking it, it's trying. Come on car, figure it out. Oh, it's slipping, it's slipping, so it's getting torque. <sighs> now we're run, running out of traction here, that's interesting. Come on, if that wheel is able to just keep spinning for a little bit longer. Oh man, it's so close to pulling us off. We turn on off-road assist. So this is the off-road setting. It's trying. All right, I'm gonna have to get a buddy to push me off. Ah, there we go. It just took a little bit of help from a friend. I truly believe if this vehicle had more suspension travel, a little bit higher off the ground, that wheel would have more weight on it and we could get off. But as it sits, it's, uh, it's basically a low slung car. Time for the final three-wheeled slip test in the Ford. This is where the Tesla got a little bit stuck. Let's see what happens in the Ford. And full disclosure, we did buy that Model Y for our long-term test. Ford lent us the brand new Mach-E for a week to test out and put through its paces. Neither manufacturer is paying us to say anything good or bad about the uh, competition, and we don't own stock in either company. So this is an independent and honest review. In a neutral, we are settled in a drive. Here we go, come on Ford. This is where the Tesla got stuck. You can do better. Oh, what a noise. It's working on it. Come on. Come on. Now, I'm about half throttle now. Hmm. Okay, what if I change drive modes? Let's go into like sporty mode, which is called unbridled. Ooh, feels a little more aggressive on the traction control. It's working hard. Okay, we may be stuck on the Ford in this three-wheel slip test as well. Okay, I've got one other thing I can try traction control off in the Ford. Might as well see what happens there. Really spinning now, wowzer! Yeah, that uh, feels worse actually. Okay, traction control on. Ian, can you give me a push? Ah, good work. Another successful TFL slip test. They both performed really well. Okay, let me modify that. They both performed pretty well. I have experienced a bunch of all-wheel drive gasoline cars and SUVs that are able to get off both three-wheeled slip tests. These were only able to get off successfully in one of them. Uh, I think that the Tesla was able to figure out the traction control a little bit quicker than the Ford, but the Ford did perform pretty darn well, and it, uh, it really held its own against a very established EV automaker now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. As always, this has been Tommy with the Fastlane Car. Be sure to check out tflcar.com for the latest and greatest in new vehicle slip tests.